Let's talk about probability of opposite and overlapping events. Um, you'll see what that means with examples. I think probability is really cool and relevant to everyday life. So I hope you like this lesson. I mentioned this in the other probability section, but you know, sports, finance, games, uh, like poker or other types of games, all these things involve probability. So you flip a coin, what is the probability of not getting hits? Uh, write your answer as a percentage. Okay, it, it's 50-50, right? So it's 50% that you get heads. It's 50% that you don't get heads. So this one is pretty clear. It's not overcomplicated. The answer is 50%. Now, people will say that coins are actually not the way the physics of the coin is. It's not exactly even. So I forget what the way the weighting is work, the way the weighting works, it's actually slightly not 50-50, but that's not what the point of this question is. So we're going to go 50. You flip a coin, what is the probability of tails or heads? Write your answer as a percentage. Now that's just tricky wording. If someone said to you, hey, I'm going to flip this coin, what's the probability that I get heads or tails? You'd go, that's always going to happen. You're always going to get either heads or tails. That's a stupid question, right? And the way of saying something's always going to happen is you say it's 100%. Right? The probability that you either get tails or heads is 100%. One of those things. It's like, it's like saying, hey, I play this game. What's the, what are the chances I either win or lose? Well, if you can't tie, then it's 100%. You flip a coin, what is the probability of not heads? So heads is 50%. Not heads is 100 minus 50%. Right, so it's 50%. Or you could, yeah, I mean, again, heads and tails, it's too simple to even think too much about, right? So 50%. This is a better question, right? Sometimes when questions are too simple, they're confusing. This one's better, right? You roll a six-sided die. What is the probability of not getting a one? Okay. So the probability of getting a one is one-sixth. The probability of not getting a one is one minus one-sixth because probabilities add up to one or 100%. That's the moral here, right? So one minus one sixth is like six, one minus one sixth is six over six minus one over six, which is five over six. So the probability is five sixths. You spin the pit spinner once. What is the probability of getting an odd or less than four? Okay, all you have to do is put, when you have or, you just put all the possibilities together, right? So let's circle less than four. Less than four is three, two, or one. What's the probability of an odd? Well, that would be one, three, or five. So we're okay if any of these things happen, right? We, we win if we either get an odd or less than four, right? So how many things are in that category? Four, four out of six. So four out of six is the same as two out of three, which is two out of three. You spin the spinner once, what is the probability of getting four or less than one? So let's use the same logic. Less than one, that's nothing. Nothing is less than one on this spinner, right? So that's sort of a moot, uh, a moot uh, event. So what about four? Well, that's just this. So that is one out of four. You spin the spinner once, what's the probability of getting odd or greater than four? So odd would be one three or five. Greater than four, that doesn't really give us any new stuff, but it does give us, I mean, it, that is five. The only thing that's greater than four is five, but that still just leaves us with three ways to win out of five. Like imagine if your parents were like mom or dad or grandma or grandpa were like, you got to spin this and you're gonna win money if you either get an odd number or greater than four. Well, they kind of be bamboozling you, right? Because this doesn't help you at all. You already got that with the odd number thing, right? 
you're hoping that that would give you more possibilities to win. In this case, it doesn't, so it's just three out of five. You spin their uh, the spinner once, what is the probability of getting an even number or less than four? So even number would be two, four, six. Now grandma gives you another chance, right? She says, you can either get an even number or you can get less than four. You go, oh goody, that means I can also get three. The two I already was happy with, one. So an even number would be two, four, or six. Less than four would be three, two, or one. Putting them in all together, you have a lot of ways to win, right? There are one, two, three, four, five ways to win. And there are six possibilities in all. So you're very likely gonna be happy here. Five out of six. You spin the spinner once, what's the probability of getting an odd or greater than four? Okay, so what are the odd numbers? One, three, five. Greater than four, we've done this one, right? There's only one thing greater than four. That doesn't give you any more opportunities. So you end up with three out of five. This is still not bad, but now we're gonna write it as three forward slash five. You spin the spinner once, what is the probability of an even number or greater than three? So even numbers, greater than three, there's only one number greater than three. Oh man, that doesn't give us any new opportunities. That's just two out of four, which is one half. So it is one out of two for 50-50. Okay guys, play some games. Learn about odds and you can, you can make good bets with your parents or your siblings or anybody or your friends. And on that note, have a good day.